Hi, I'm August Bryce with TechWellness.com and today we're going to talk about ambient RF radiation and what you can do to lessen it in your environment. So to decrease it, we're going to need to find it and often it's hidden in a lot of wireless devices you don't even think about. So, RF radiation. Like I said, it's from wireless devices that are all around us like computers, laptops, Wi-Fi, even our cell phones. And this meter helps us to see that right now in my office, I'm in a place where I really don't feel too comfortable. We're going between the high and the extreme levels. So we're gonna turn things off and show you the difference, starting with the Wi-Fi switch. Okay, Wi-Fi goes off. Okay, let's turn off Wi-Fi's from the computers. Ide, can you turn off your um, computer Wi-Fi and the printers and Taylor, turn off your computer. We're gonna see if we can get this down. Oh look, it's starting to have an effect. We're moving down. I saw it get down to moderate for a second. So everyone's phone is off. Turn off your phone. Turn off the Bluetooth off your phone. If we can put our phones in Faraday's, then we'll know for sure. But computers have to be off. Wi-Fi's off. There's something on in here. I wonder if it's in your office. Why don't you just walk around with the meter? And see if I can find it. Yeah, it's in here. Got the Bluetooth off. What else is going on in here? How about that little uh, portable speaker right there? Little this little, portable speaker. Black face. You are just, clothes. you're just a wealth of wireless energy, Hal. Seriously, I want to throw it out the window. How do I turn it off? Okay, what else? How about this Bluetooth speaker? That's off. Anything, how about this? Is your iPad? Plugged in. This, this. Is your TV on in here? No. Okay, you guys. Hal's office is toxic and he can't figure out, oh, you have an iPad. Okay, it's getting better. Phone's off. Something's over here, this pad. What? How can you operate with all this wireless? I've just turned off five things in here. I see a phone over there that's still on, but I'm... That's your phone. Yeah. Oh, your phone's on. Oh, that's the problem. Give me that, give me that phone. Ah! Ah! Your phone. How did that happen? You are that the culprit. That is so bad. You're the culprit. Where's my stylus? Your phone. I need to turn this off. Okay, I now so I'm just going to put it. This. Alan, will you put this in a Faraday? Sure. We're going to put this phone in a Faraday where it belongs. Thank you. Ah, do you see this? Woohoo! Yay! So just in Hal's office alone, we turned off five Bluetooth items. So we had a lot of wireless devices on, even though this office is a completely wired office. It's, everything's hardwired, the internet, the computers, and I generally am so happy about that. But today, we had some wireless energy. Well, we were able, by unplugging our wireless devices, to go from high to moderate, and that's a great thing, because this wireless energy, it's invisible. You can't see it or smell it or touch it, but the World Health Organization has classified it as a class 2B possible carcinogenic. And I think of it as, you know, just another toxin that my body doesn't need to deal with. And so whenever I can, I unplug wireless devices, I turn them off, I put them in Faraday bags, and I just try to make my environment a little bit cleaner. And we can do that really, really easily by just wiring up and being aware. So check out this list on the screen. It's got a lot of common sources of things that emit wireless energy. Everything from the Wi-Fi to, you know, some things you don't think about like your Nest or your Google Home. So we'll see you next time. Be well.